In Kong, Skull Island, a group of scientists, soldiers and adventurers that come in the form of Brie Larson, John Goodman, Tom Hiddleston and Samuel L. Jackson unite to explore a mythical uncharted island in the Pacific. What the hell is this place? That's Kong. He's king around here. Sparking a vicious battle between man and nature and knocking out helicopters like there's no tomorrow, Kong isn't monkeying around. You are going to tell me everything I don't know, or I'm going to blow your head off. Monsters exist. Mort Garrett caught up with the stars of the film to see what they <laughs> thought of the Gold Coast while they were filming there. Gold Coast is a very interesting spot. What does that mean? It tends to be a bit raucous. Yeah, raucous yeah. is a great word for it. It's kind of like going to, uh, not Vegas, but Reno. It's like Miami. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It was amazing. I'd never been to Australia before. I loved how beautiful it was there. I loved being, I had a beautiful view of the ocean every day. Really great restaurants, really lovely people. I loved it, it was good fun. And you have Hemsworth there, so that helps. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah. So he's actually um, the lesser attractive um, standard of Australians. Yeah. yeah. We're actually better looking than okay. a lot of us are. Yeah. Don't tell him. <laughs> With CGI, technology is catching up at such an exponential rate that is um, anything possible these days, do you think? It, anything will be possible probably two or three years. Right. The way things are going, so I'll just sit in a uh, recording booth and record my voice and they'll have some little puppet do my work for me. You almost sound relieved about that. I'm getting old. <laughs> the CGI is absolutely incredible in this film um, and he's such a sweet, beautiful creature in this movie. People actually got eaten and killed on this movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't joke about that, because you filmed in Australia, and that's all we hear all the time. Everything's trying to kill you. But one thing's for sure. When I finally saw the movie, Kong was never that big when we were shooting it. They say you can't go wrong with Kong. There you go. So how did the actors go pretending to interact with a giant ape? You're trying to think of like, what's the closest thing that I've personally experienced to this? And for me, it was, while I was in India, I got to meet an elephant. And so that feeling that I had with that creature was kind of what I just applied to my performance with this film. It's always a joy to kind of run away from big things with sharp teeth that are faster, stronger. He's just so big and obviously not there. Like, as an actor, you kind of just like, all right, help I've me out. I've worked with plenty of actors who weren't there. <laughs> I love the look of disbelief that everyone's just mastered. It's right. This... Oh, you've got the glasses. Yeah, it really That's helps. brilliant. So you've got a prop. So you can't top that one? Can I borrow your glasses? Okay. Am I looking like a disbelief at you? You look nice on you. Okay. I'll, I'll go. I look slightly off. There we go. So. How's that? You should try acting. <laughs> I think you're really good at it.